I wanted to make a video about battery placement for the uh, battery backups for the solar panels. And we had several different choices on this. We had 10 batteries. Each one of them weighs about uh, 31 pounds. So we had a little over 300 pounds of batteries. Um, what you're looking at right now is the corner of my garage. And um, basically above this section of the garage, is near one end of the ridge line of the roof. And so my thought was to actually put a hole in the ceiling of the garage right there, have the wires run down, and maybe either put a, a ledge up above that door that could actually support the 300 pounds and have the batteries up there. Or maybe actually uh, have the batteries on the ground here or maybe on the ground here. And this is basically the part of the garage that's going to be closest to the panels. But whenever I discovered via the math that uh, every 30 feet of distance between the panels and the batteries results in about a 20% loss in the energy storage, I decided to actually get a little bit more drastic with this. and. If you remember from the last video, I had actually uh, talked about the, the splice connectors that uh, I was going to use to connect between the longer runs of cable. Um, you can see that I actually had uh, purchased uh, about 100 feet of cable, both red and black, um, that I could have used with the splice connectors. Uh, but I actually ended up not doing any of that. Um, you can see right here, actually, that we've got a whole bunch of the, the cable that actually shipped with the battery commanders, and this is all left over. This was all uh, cut off from the, the 25 feet uh, sections that were, were sent with the battery commanders because I actually uh, came up with a way that would save some distance here. And what I ended up doing is I ended up actually doing something that I was a little bit hesitant about, and that is that the batteries are actually in the attic. Now, the big issue with this is that the batteries are happiest at around 78 degrees, give or take a little bit, and the attic is normally at the outside temperature. And so that's a bad thing for the batteries. That means they get extra cold in the winter and extra warm in the summer. So to combat that, uh, the plan is to actually put the batteries inside the insulation envelope so that hopefully they will be as close to the house temperature as possible. I realize that it's not going to be perfect, but I think it'll be pretty close. And you can see that we've got a, a whole bunch of roll insulation up here. Um, the plan is going to be to actually have the, uh, the batteries underneath all the insulation, uh, basically sitting as, as close to the ceiling inside the house as we can possibly get it. Um, so if we look down through here, uh, you can actually see that the system is more or less installed right now. And a few things that you'll need to be aware of. Um, what I ended up doing is I ended up putting all of the batteries in the center of the house. Um, the, the solar panel uh, installation is actually up here above this section of the roof. As a matter of fact, if you look right there, you can see some of the, the screws from the uh, easy mount system that we have for the, the solar panel rails. Um, and I have a wall that goes down the center of the of the house basically and what I ended up doing uh, you can see right in there you can see the the top plate of the wall that goes down through here there's a there's a hallway over here and there's a, a room over here on this side um, so what I've ended up doing is I have actually sat the batteries directly on top of that upper wall and the batteries are installed, but the insulation obviously is not. Um, I'm going to, to protect these batteries and they're going to get covered up with a whole bunch of insulation so that hopefully the batteries will stay at the temperature 
of the inside of the house as much as possible. Um, just to, to talk briefly about how the batteries are set up, uh, each battery is 12 volts. We need 24 volts for the solar system. So what we have done is we have uh, wired together two of the batteries. Um, you can see that we've wired together the negative on one side to the positive on the next battery. And then uh, the other two terminals of the batteries are actually going outside. Um, so these two are wired together, those two are wired together, those two, those two, and then uh, there's two down there on the end. So we have five sets of batteries here. Um, each one of them is pumping out 24 volts. Now, I have actually cut the lengths on these red and black wires, the cables, so that they are essentially exactly the length that they need to go through the roof and up to the specific solar panel that they need to go up to. So, what we do whenever we look at that, you can see that we've got a whole bundle of wires of the, the red and black cables going up through here. And then they are actually heading out onto the roof right here. This is the air vent that I had talked about that uh, I am actually that I've actually repurposed. I took the air vent there and I I bent around all of the, uh, the the metal edge that we've got right there so that it wouldn't be uh, sharp on the edges of this cable. Um, you can see that we've got the the two large black wires. That's actually uh, from a T harness for the solar panels, as well as from an extension cable on the solar panels that came with the starter set. This is not yet fully buttoned up, but you can see that uh, this is the actual Romex that I have that's headed back to. The breaker box for the house and right now I don't have enough panels that I need to have this on two circuits so right now I actually have um, one set of panels coming in on this cable the rest of the panels are coming in on this cable um, the plan is to add more panels to this set of cables and at that point I will have to actually have another circuit that's coming up here. But for right now though, I have both sets of the cables from the solar panels going into this box and then they just get tied into the Romex. Um, that is basically the way that all of this is set up. Um, and then that, uh, that Romex, like I said, it's just the, the yellow wire that's just uh, headed back to the meter box. Um, that's the, the basic setup. Uh, we still have to come in and, and cover all of these batteries up so that they don't get cold and hot so that they stay at about the same temperature. But that's more or less the what is going on in the attic area. Um, and uh, hopefully that helps some people out and gives them a little bit of guidance on uh, how they might want to wire things up. Uh, 